Let us now get back to the web graph question, two questions that we observed, we asked rather. How do you collect the web graph? How are you going to use it to solve your search problem? I am going to collect the web graph by taking random walks I collected. As you are collecting, as you are visiting nodes through random walks, you give points to each node. For example, on this 30 node network which we did in uh, let us say uh, second game, the random coin dropping game, we dropped the coins and we saw which node got the highest gold coins. On the web graph we are going to do the same thing. We are going to walk on this web graph, we keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, we, we walk like, like let us say a billion times and keep dropping the coins and we look at which node has the highest coins. And when you search for a keyword in the search engine, what Google does is this. It firstly keeps walking on the web that is called crawling, it keeps crawling on the web, keeps dropping the gold coins and sees which node has the highest gold coin. Every single page has basically the gold coin accumulation points. Okay? When you type in let us say a keyword namely um, uh, uh, I will say uh, um, uh, Britney Spears, if you type in the keyword Britney Spears, we all know she is very popular, very popular uh, pop singer. There is a lot, there are a lot of pages which talk about Britney Spears. Which page should come first? What Google will do is it will go and retrieve all those pages which has anything to do with Britney Spears you will have some 10,000 pages, maybe even more. And as an example, let me say 10,000 pages. Now, Google does not display, in fact, it displays all the 10,000 pages, but it should display the most relevant page in the beginning. What is the most relevant page? That page that has accumulated the maximum gold coins. This is how Google works. Google just displays all these 10,000 results in descending order of the points that pages accumulate as Google crawls the web and drops a gold coin on each page that it visits. Very simple, very straightforward, very easy to understand algorithm, very easy to implement uh, technique, it works like a charm. Google harnessed the potential of what is called a web graph, where web pages are related by hyperlinks and Google as an industry thought one should as a, before it became Google in fact, uh, in fact the story is very interesting. Uh, these two people Larry Page and Sergey Brim, they were sitting in a uh, old garage and they were trying to implement this, um, this particular algorithm of crawling through the web. In fact, their crawling was also very suspicious that people thought they are trying to uh, hack something and things like that. In fact, they got into trouble because of this. You can read up the um, uh, literature for this, I mean articles on this. In fact, there is a nice documentary made on this as well. Uh, I strongly suggest that you watch it. So, these people were doing something uh, out of the box, which was like crawling the entire web and then giving points to each node and using that to give you the right search results. Work like a charm. Something that is unexpected, which is the web graph seemingly useless. Of, of what use you think uh, a person like me and you remember when we had this coffee table discussion in 1990, do not you think by, 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 by no means one could think of uh, seemingly useless uh, uh, data like the web graph coming, coming in use uh, in a problem such as uh, uh, search. And that seemingly useless data made this industry of a big billion dollar industry for a simple reason that it avoided hiring thousands of people which is like the first thought that one will get when it comes to solving the search problem. All that they did was take the web graph, how easy is it to take? It is very easy to take, just crawl, take random walk, you will get all the web graph. Not only will you get, as you crawl, as you take random walks, drop a gold coin and see which page has how many gold coins. And then when someone asks for a, a keyword, search and show all the pages which has this keyword, but sort them according to the gold coins accumulated by these web pages. 
and that is precisely what Google does.